Alright, what's up guys? I figured I'd make a video today. What video can I possibly make? I do fish, beers, random, vape. I do all kinds of videos. Today's the video about Wendy's and how the chili is prepared and made. Now, I bring this up because it's been something that I've been thinking about for a while now. My wife just recently tried chili. I don't get me wrong, the chili from Wendy's is good ish well it, she just discovered it and she thinks it's the best thing in the world now let's talk about how that nice chili is actually made i worked at wendy's a long time ago and i'm pretty sure they still do this to this day actually i know they do this to this day because i know people that actually work there and here's how they do it i was a fry cook well at first i started off front desk and as soon as I got back to the, to the fryers, and then I got back to the hamburger prep station. And we have these uh, giant presses. You stack your patties up like this, and you pull it down, and it cooks them. You take those over, and you put them on this, this open-faced griddle that's really big, about the size of the top of a stove, that has little metal slats in it. And you put them all to this side, on the right side, or left, whichever they, you, they prefer, you prefer. And you start using all the different different sections like this, and whenever you get to the last bit and the the meat shrunk and gets petrified, we have a white bag that we would put it in. That's like right next to the press station, you know. Put all the leftovers in the bag. Throw you some fresh hamburgers down. Press them again. Put them back on the line. What doesn't get used within a certain time goes into that Ziploc bag. Until by the end of the day, we had a giant probably a five to six pound just bag zip lock it up put it in the freezer or refrigerator depending on if we were going to use that chili meat for the next day we would put it inside the the, the cooler if we were going to try to save up some chili meat or whatever because it was getting say cold outside or it was just chili season chili season season if it was chili season or cold weather we'd put up we'd put some in the freezer you know that way we could just have some as backup well let's just say you have some that were unfrozen you would take the same ones out and then you would chop them up real fine and there's your chili meat uh, if we had frozen ones we would open the bag the very first morning pour hot water or cold water whatever we weren't really told either way or and we would thaw it out the same pretty much way chop it up that's your chili for the day, and it would cook until we open. Now, I do kind of understand where they're coming from. You know, it saves cost, but at the same time, you ever get those hard pieces inside your chili? That's like a ham. Well, it's hamburger meat, is what it is. You ever get a piece of hard meat in your chili, and it's just really chewy? Well, that could be one that burnt. <laughs> that they got either freezer burnt or just straight up completely burnt or overcooked. Now, Wendy's can sue me for all I care. Um, I know what they do. I've done some shady stuff. I've seen some shady stuff working fast food before. So that's how chili's made. It's, 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 it's efficient, but at the same time, gross. And when I say gross, I mean because you've got to think that bag's been sitting there all day long, just collecting meat, collecting meat. And it's been sitting there for hours and hours and hours and hours until the end of the day. Zip it up, throw it in the freezer or cooler, whichever we did. Is it efficient? Sure, you're not wasting, but at the same time, you know, you got like, say, this much of the bag that's been sitting there for, what, a good 12-hour shift or a good 8-hour shift till you're off work, and then you zip up what you had and you threw it in there, so for, at least for 8 hours, that bag's been sitting there. So, that's how Chili's made, thank you for watching, I've been rambling on long enough. Wendy's is probably going to come after me like they did Shane Dawson for the Chuck E. Cheese videos, but at the same time, really, I'm not telling nothing that's a lie, so... Y'all have a good one. And remember, every time you eat chili, just remember, how old is that chili that you're eating? Was it leftovers from yesterday? Or was that a bag that's been frozen for a week or two that's been thawed out? Thank y'all for watching. Y'all stay great.